I mean, we know that when there's increased stress, that can affect a person's immune system. The pandemic has taken a toll on people's mental health. For many, their lives have become overwhelming. And strangely enough, it may also lead to more people getting COVID. A new study shows people with elevated anxieties, probably post-traumatic stress disorder, and other conditions associated with impulsivity, are more likely to engage in behaviors that put them at risk for COVID. You know, it was a, a lot of stress involved um, with the pandemic and lots of uncertainty. And, um, you, know, you know, people may have felt increased stress, may have felt increased anxiousness, um, it may have also affected their, their mood and becoming, um, you know, more depressed as they're, you know, worried about things, as they're isolated from family and friends. Mental health has been a bigger issue to so many people's life, but with COVID, it has impacted a lot our mental health. I'm an introvert, so I was, I was very happy to be at home. Uh, I say it's harder for me to kind of go back to normal, like going back to stores and movies. It was harder for me because I was happy at home and not being able to go out. For extrovert, it was just the opposite. Social distancing caused many to be anxious. Personally, it was hard during that time of um, not being able to see family for keeping elderly safe, um, young cousins safe on that side. So it was hard during that time of not being able to see them for extended amount of period. Pulled down by anxious read, show 35% of Canadians says depression and anxiety are a major problem within their social circle. 48% say it's an issue they are exposed to during the pandemic. And 66% says their mental health issues have worsened. For Said News File, I'm Liz Deng.